Ship Peak, we're going to take the worst, what's considered to be the worst instalment of something. Octopussy, for example, is considered the worst James <laughs> oh, Bond. Yeah. yeah. I um, like, I, I actually quite like Octopussy. Well, you see, that's there the you future go, one. It's interesting, isn't it? So, what we, we watched Family Guy, and it was very difficult to find what's considered the worst of that. Because there's so much bad. Well, there was a lot of things, the one where Brian dies. Oh. Like, there were so, so many, like, that people I didn't like and that got mixed reviews. But I managed to run down <laughs> one that was not only bad as in unfunny, but bad as in... Offensive. Um, offensive, distasteful, made people feel sick, almost got banned, got no good reviews. The old, I think the only one I can think of as worse is one where, um, is it where, like, Lois is, like, an abortion or something? That was banned? Uh, I don't that know. That actually was banned. It's about well, uh, technically, does it count as one if it's never been shown? Or it's been aired in the UK. It's uh, available on DVDs and Netflix. I would find that to be a bit on the edge if it never L ran on. Fox. L Lois uh, becomes a surrogate mother. Yep. Yeah. I, 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 it's, I, I don't know. It's meant to be a bit horribly offensive. I think it did air once. Yeah. But in any case, yeah, this is equally just as bad as yes, offensive. Yes. We watched the Family Guy episode Silent. Screams, or whatever it's called. Mm. In this episode, Quagmire auto-erotic asphyxiates himself, and then his sister comes to see him in the hospital, but she has her abusive boyfriend with her, and um, that's pretty much... This is very story-light. Pretty much the story yeah. is, he tries to hang himself, and her, her boyfriend comes around, he's a real shit who beats her, and then they kill him. The end. Yeah. Oh my god, where do we, where do you start on why this, this is so bad? Well, I don't think I've ever seen a, an episode of TV that felt longer or was worse. <laughs> well, you know, I was, I was meant to talk about this earlier, about Family Guy trying to tackle issues. Yep. And it's ultimately, like, stupid. Yep. Family Guy should never tackle issues. Family Guy should just concentrate on making the closest, the, the, the worst, lowest common denominator jokes possible. Yeah. That's why it does... Basically, that's what he does. I don't know who does it well, or whatever, I don't care. Yeah, Family Guy should not be doing issues. Nope. Just can't do it. Nope. So the guy who wrote A Million Ways to Die in the West should not be overseeing a film, uh, uh, sorry, an episode of television about abuse. About wife abuse. Yes. Uh, well, I think that the main, the main problem with the episode is... I think TV can obviously tackle those kind yeah, of issues. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. I'm sure there have been great episodes of television about similar things. Yeah. And there have also been ones that are also... But the problem I had with this was it wasn't funny bad, it was just uncomfortable. It was really uncomfortable. There's an episode of... Um, oh, what's it called? What's the show with Gary Coleman? The, um, different Strokes. It's Different Strokes is the show. And there's one of them that's hilariously uncomfortable because it's about a paedophile, but it's done in such a poor way. It's sort of oh. quite funny to watch as well as being uncomfortable. This is just horrible. Yeah. Because the problem with the episode is, it is literally just, like, they're laughing at this woman. Yeah. All the time, she's just, like, degraded in the episode. And even she, he gives a speech which says he, she's not a woman. She's yeah. a, not even a person. The old her is dead. And it's just, like, basically, the target of the humour is her more than even him. Yeah, yeah. She's barely a person, isn't it? She's just an, uh, like a, a thing to Bunch make abuse bag. jokes about. Yeah. yeah. How offensive is that? It's well, like, like even when like Lois is having like uh, kind of like one to one with her. Yep. She's like, ah, quickly, you, you gotta put your menus away. It looks like it's such a cupboard. And then she doesn't put the menus away. She's like, oh god damn it. <laughs> yep. But I then found at the end where like she's writing the writing of the letter pretending it was written by Jeff. Yep. Um, and it's like, by the way, basically, your shit. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you. Yeah, if if you if you go to the police, we're going to use your dead abusive boyfriend as basically a scare tactic to make sure you don't talk. Yep. How horrible is that? And yep. what? what uh, uh, oh my god, it's so offensive. Like abuse is such a compli complicated issue. Yep. Like. You know, no, no, no. Abuse is because you choose to stay with him because you're an idiot. Oh, yeah. That, well, you're not watching the episode. Yeah, but yeah. That, that's what the Enlightened Family Guy's got to say about yeah. abuse. Yeah, But, like, it's... It's such a complicated issue. And it's... It's so tailored. And it, it happens to... It's very much an individual basis. You can't make a sweeping comment about abuse. Because it's... It, every situation is so different. Yep. Um... 
and the way he goes about it basically concludes, essentially, you just gotta uh, kill the abuser. Kill the abuser, and it's your fault for staying with him. Yeah. I mean, I mean, from what I can tell from this episode, she should have walked away, Chris. She should have just gone. She should have gone. It's all her own fault. It's all see? her fault. Yep, that's basically what the episode is trying to say. Yeah. But also, a show that could do that kind of thing wouldn't be this lowest common denominator. No. Comedy. It wouldn't be this. It'd be... I don't think anyone could make a comedy about abuse. I don't think so. There's no... There's no funny about it. No, yeah, you're right. Yeah, but it's yeah. inherently... How could you make a joke? I, I, I was thinking, like... Because the episode opens with, like, Quagmire trying to, you know, do auto... Auto erotic asphyxiation. Auto erotic asphyxiation, yeah. Yeah. Um, and I said, like, oh, okay. Well, I was thinking, well, how's that going to pay off later? Oh. Uh, I was thinking, well. You I, fool, and it I, did, it paid off so yeah. well. I was, I was a minute before the end, and I was like, they've not paid that off yet, I wonder how they're going to do it. I was like, oh. <laughs> oh. So, so, so uh, after, after a series of incredibly unfunny, uncomfortable jokes. Yep. Um. They reach the conclusion, Qu Peter, Quagmire and Joe reach the conclusion that they've just got to kill him. Yep. Like what men used to do. <laughs> just get some guys and just beat the shit out of him. Yep. And that, that's the solution to the issue. Yep. Um, they just go and just, they just kill him. Yep. Quagmire smashes the car into him. Yep. Um, and that's how they resolve the issue of uh, Quagmire's sister's uh, abusive boyfriend. They just kill him. Yep. What? Like, what? <laughs> really? Yeah. You see, any real if you were to do this as like some kind of awful eighty style P what's it called? After school special. P PSA. PSA, that's it. Yeah, yeah public service announcement. You would PSA, um, the it, only yeah. way to do this in a in a good way would have been that she found the inner strength to leave him or something like that would have been the a episode positive should message. have built up to her saying, I'm leaving you. Exactly, that's I'm what going, I mean. Yeah. She she built up enough like they, they could have, she built up enough, like, confidence and she had this well of support around her to leave. Yeah. But no one supports her at all. They take all the, all the, um, what's it called when a character has, or when they make decisions for themselves. Takes action. Action. No, there's a special word for it where they have, um, all their, I can't think of the word, but they take all power away from her and just make it about men beating each other up. Oh, yeah, yeah. What kind of yeah. solution is that for abuse? It's not. <laughs> exactly. It's, it's not. It's not. Um, and it's not it, well, It's not even funny, though. No, it's horribly uncomfortable. Exactly. I mean, I, I mean, even if this was a hilarious art, it wouldn't be enough to redeem it, but it'd at least be something. It, it would be enough to understand why they did it. Yeah, yeah. Now I can't... Did they do it because... Do you think Seth MacFarlane had a burning desire to discuss well, women it, being abused? This is the thing, like, recently Family Guy... Mm -hmm. Has been attempting to do issues episodes. Are they all as poorly thought out yes. as this one? Yes, they are indeed. Yeah. Uh, there's, an, there's an episode, I think, in this season where Joe's son comes back and he's a deserter from the army. Oh, yeah. That's horrible. Or they treat him like an evil scumbag or something. But, but, yeah. yeah, yeah, basically. Yeah. Um, but what, what else is there? Uh, there, there? There's loads of them. There, 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 he tries to do it more and more and try to make Family Guy eh, issues. Issues that uh, if he like, issues comedy. But there's an abortion episode. Um, there's all there's all sorts. He's doing it a lot recently to try and I don't know raise the. But it's, well, Family Guy is actually quite an intelligent show. <laughs> yeah. I actually uh, saw someone did defending Family Guy's issues episodes against South Park. Like really? What? Like it, like imagine South Park tackling an issue about an episode about abuse. I don't think they would. I don't think they would, but no. I'm sure Sal Park would do it in a moment. I don't think they'd blame the, uh, the I don't think woman. They'd blame the woman. No, no. Sal Park would at least do an interesting look. Yes. Highlight the issues like Sal Park does best. Yep. Um, but yeah, no, the, 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 this guy was basically trying to say that, well, actually, Fair Family Guys issues episodes are much better than uh, Sal Park, <laughs> which is paint it all as, well, both sides are stupid. Uh, but I think if you were to do an abuse episode, it'd have to be a bit more, you know. Uh -huh. But we would obviously fall on that side. Um, but I don't know, I feel if South Park was to do it, they'd at least yep. look at the issue properly, while Family Guy just didn't bother doing out. Didn't bother doing out, yeah. Well, yeah. if you look at things that try and tackle. Well, the problem is, a lot sat like satire and comedy, usually, like, this kind of satire taking issues 
usually people barely talk about the issues, they talk about how it's portrayed. Yeah. Like that Brass Eye episode about oh, paedophilia. Yes, yes. It's, paedophilia itself isn't funny at all. No. But the way it's presented is it's funny. Is funny. That's what the comedy comes from. Yeah. Well, it, it, it's all, it, it's just not really laughing at paedophiles, it's taking the piss out of the medias. Yeah. Uh, like, like the media in general. Like yeah. how it just, it, it gravitates towards an issue and just nukes it to death basically. That's the way to approach it. Maybe yeah. if this wasn't about abuse, it was about pe the way people think of it or something. Yeah, yeah. There's at least an, a, like a, like a, a germ of an idea that's not horrible. Like there. perceptions of, uh, like, you know, like, like to, to its credit, there's an episode of Family Guy uh, all about the uh, FCC. Oh yeah. Um, obviously the thing that censors TV. Um, and they, they, they at least tackle it in a satirical way. Yeah. It's not good. No. But they at least make an attempt at doing it in the more kind of way you should be doing this kind of uh, this kind of thing. Do you know actually recently the episode of Brass Eye was voted as being one of the best episodes of television of the last 25 years by like the official TV canon people. It is. It's, that's it's, right. it's, excellent. it's a stunning it's episode amazing. of yeah. television. Yeah. Uh, very, it's very one of the positive. most important. It's amazing. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you just compare like I mean, even the cutaway gags in this are unfunny. It's been never been funny. No. Well, um, women are hard. Young women are hard to read, and it cuts to them in a in a bar. Yeah. And that's it. There's not even that's not a joke. That's not a joke. No. That's just. Well, it's just a, a cutaway. It's not even an observation because no. it's a heightened to the point where it's not realistic. Comedy comes from, I, I, I don't know as much about the intricacies of comedy as you do because I don't watch as much TV as you, but why, well, I, I know, I'll stand up, <laughs> I'll stand up, yeah. but comedy comes from a situation, Yeah. comedy comes from, uh, talking about sitcoms, comedy comes from the interaction between the characters of the situation yeah. that they're in, right, um, so something like Red Dwarf, right, the situation is four guys are lost in space yeah. by themselves, they're all horny as fuck, and we all hate each other, and the comedy Comes springs from, that, from yeah. there. Yeah, so that's why it's funny. Same with The Simpsons. You got four completely different people sharing yeah. one house, um, basically they're all different personalities, but they're a family. Yeah, comedy all springs from there. It writes itself, right? Uh, same thing with Family Guy. In theory, five people all live in a house, all different personalities. The, and the comedy should come from a situation where they're living together, but it doesn't. The comedy does not derive from the situations. It derives from Cutting away to a gag or making a reference. Making a reference to something is not a joke. Unless you're doing it in a way like Airplane. Yeah. Where you're making light of the reference. You, yep. you are um, making a joke, making a film reference. And you don't need to have seen the, the film, film to get the reference. Which is why I, no one's seen the film but uh, Airplane spoofs, right? But <laughs> Airplane's still one of the funniest it's comedies ever. It's because it's so ridiculous. Yeah, exactly, yeah. It yeah. takes it to the nth degree. 